121,011 divided by 9. Pause the video and find the quotient and the remainder. Did you try dividing the number by 9 using the traditional approach? 9 times 1 is 9, 12 minus 9 is 3, get the 1 down and 9 times 3 is 27 and so on. This is a bit tedious. Let's understand a better and a much quicker approach to divide numbers by 9. First, we write the dividend as is. Once the dividend is written, we copy the first digit down and add this with the second digit. 1 plus 2 is 3. Then we add this result to the next digit. 3 plus 1 is 4. Let's review the steps. First digit copied. Added it to the second digit to get a result. Then added the result with the third digit to get 4. We continue this until we reach the last digit. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. And 5 plus 1 is 6. Yes. There's a reason why we have written this in a different colour. 6 is the remainder and this part is the quotient. Yes, we got the quotient as well as the remainder without performing the division process. We simply wrote the first digit as is, added it to the next digit, added the results to the respective next digits until we reach the last digit. The last sum becomes the remainder and the remaining number becomes the quotient. Let's try out another one. 231,062 divided by 9. Find the quotient and the remainder. Pause the video, take your time and try finding the quotient and the remainder. The first step was simple. We just have to write the dividend as is with a slight gap between each digit. Then we write the first digit down as is, after which we find the series of sums. 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 0 is equal to 6, 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. Now we cannot write a two digit number here. So we write a 12 like this, 1 under a 6 and 2 here. And 12 plus 2 is equal to 14. Interesting. As 1 is written under the 6, we add them. 2 is written down. 6 plus 1 is 7. 6, 5 and 2. Now my question to you is, is 25,672 the quotient and is 14 the remainder? If you use your calculator and multiply 25,672 with 9 and add 14 to the product, you will get 231,062 which is our dividend. But this is incorrect. Why is it incorrect? Tell me, has the remainder ever been greater than the divisor? Let me give you an example. If we divide 16 by 3, we write the quotient as 5 and the remainder as 1, right? Or do we write the quotient as 4 and the remainder as 4? Undoubtedly, the first one is correct. So all we need to do now is remove a 9 from this and add 1 to the quotient. Removing 9 from this gives us a remainder of 5 and we add 1 to the quotient. This is our remainder. If you look at the second case of 16 over 3, you can see that subtracting 3 from the remainder and adding 1 to the quotient will give us the first case. That's exactly what we have done here. Now we simply perform the addition. 2 plus 1 is 3, 6 plus 1 is 7, 6, 5, 2. That's our quotient, 25,673 and the remainder is 5. Don't worry if you haven't understood it well. Go through the video again and we will also be looking at two more examples of division by 9 in the next part of the session.